in your counsel. It faces several charges from the criminal code of multiple murder and premeditated murder in connection with the first Bali bombing in October 2002 and also the Christmas Eve bombings of December 2000. He also is facing terrorism charges for his role in bringing arms in from the Philippines to Indonesia when he returned in 2009 and also for failing to report uh, the presence of Joe Martin and other fugitives to the authorities. He's also been charged with training people who then went on to join the terrorist training camp in Aceh. So all that together is a very unusual package because usually people in Indonesia who are charged with terrorism are only charged with one major crime. The defense lawyers are trying to argue that Omar Patek was not the mastermind in the 2002 Bali bombings, but quite how big an influence was he in the overall scheme of things? 